You know, these days, it seems like we are in a side hustle society, people trying to make extra money, trying to make ends meet. And one of those side businesses people like to do is a mobile car detailing business, some business like that. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys exactly how I would structure a mobile car detailing website in order to get that business owner's Google business profile to the top of the Google map pack inside that three pack to generate them leads for the business. I'll show you guys exactly how it's structured, how it's set up the homepage, how it's structured the whole site to almost guarantee that website will push that Google business profile to the top of the search results. What up there guys, Izzy here once again with Get Busy LLC, helping contractors, home services, and local businesses to understand the internet, website design, SEO, the Google business profiles, and show them how to generate leads for their business online. So in this video, I wanna talk about how I would structure a mobile car detailing website in order to get it pushed to the top of Google search results. Not particularly on the organic search results, but to use that website to push the Google business profile of that business owner into the three pack of Google. In my opinion, I tell this to people all of the, all of the time. The sole purpose of building out a website for your business is for no other reason other than to generate you leads for your business. The same reason you go buy a drill gun. You're not looking to post up your drill gun and show everybody your drill gun. You want damn holes in the wall. That's the whole purpose of a website, in my opinion. And this is what you should focus on when building out your own website for your own business. Now, it doesn't matter what the business is. I'm just using this as an example for a mobile car detailing because someone requested it on my channel. So I want to just go ahead and make one because you could use the same how do you say the strategy, the philosophy behind exactly what I'm going to talk about that's going to build up your topical authority for your industry in your location to push the Google business profile to the top into that three pack of Google. Naturally, the business has to be good, too. He's got to go out there. He can't be some dipshit going out there doing some crappy work, doing car detailing, car wash, mobile, anything. They got to be a good business owner because you're going to need to get good reviews. You need to get some listings on um, site business listing citations like on Yelp, um, Thumbtack. I don't know if they do any of that crap on Thumbtack, but just get your business name out there. But your website's going to play a massive, massive role in pushing the Google business profile. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I would outline the website, how I would structure it, how it set it all up to so you guys can understand and you guys could use this if you are a car, mobile car detail or just a car detailing business or if you're a window washing, a carpet cleaning business, a paving company, a con it doesn't matter. The same thing holds true to making this work. So let me show you guys the structure I would follow and use to build out this website. It's going to push the business profile to the top of the Google business profile into that three pack of Google. Okay, guys, so this is what I would recommend in the actual structure of the website. And I explain to you everything in the philosophy behind it, right? And for this, I'm going to need my glasses because I'm an old man and I can't see shit no more. All right. So here's the very first thing I would do. First of all, I would, if somebody, let's say is a mobile car detail business called me up and said, Hey, can you build me a website? No problem. This is exactly how I would, this is my recommendation for them. This is exactly what I would set up to get them a fighting chance to push the Google business profile to the top into that three pack of Google. The very first thing I would ask them is what is the categories you have selected on that Google business profile? I went and did a quick look with something called uh, GMB everywhere. You could spy on people's categories. And I've noticed some of the things that ranked in different bigger cities. And I took a look and some of the categories were obviously car detailing. I know it was car wash. I've seen some other for RV and things like that. Another one was upholstery shampoo. Uh, what was this? Upholstery shampoo, carpet shampooing. I would probably pick those three categories. Now, one of the very first mistake a lot of business owners make is, number one, they select the wrong category on the Google business profile. Uh, they don't even pay attention to it, right? And others only select one. And there's options to select more than one. You could select, from what I heard, maybe like 10, but you don't want to overdo it. You only select categories that are matching your business, right? The services that you provide. Don't just pick categories for the sake of picking categories because, of course, it's going to look spammy. It's going to look, plus it's going to look stupid. You don't want to do that. Just pick three, four categories in your business. I always tell people because I work with a lot of paving contractors, for the most part for them is paving company. I mean, a paving contractor concrete contractor, asphalt contractor, and road construct, road construction company. Those are the four categories. For mobile 
car, uh, car detail, and this is what I would select. These three, if they do RVs and things like that, there's one for RV detail, and I would select something like that. But just this, to make it really simple, right? So I'm going to pretend that uh, somebody from Bakersfield, California has called me up. Bakersfield is maybe about two hours away from where I live. It's a pretty big ass town, about 350,000 people. I'm sure it would be competitive. So this is why I would recommend a website just like this. And you can see right away, right from the get go, that this website from scratch, you got the three pages here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 pages right off the bat. That's what I'd recommend um, because this is what's gonna give you a fighting chance. But I'm gonna explain to you guys why I picked it like this, right? So car detailing is the number one category for the primary category for this business. So my homepage would be structured for car detailing. This is what the whole, and the page has to be 100% SEO optimized, all the images, uh, all the all the SEO crap I talk about on this page, the page has to be dialed in perfectly. And then you have to build out service pages, uh, what do you say, related to car detailing in here, right? And this is why I've highlighted these right here. What falls under mo mobile car detailing? Paint correction, headlight restoration, ceramic coating, full, full car detailing, uh, wax and polish. There might be more, like I said, I don't know this industry. I'm just using this as an example, right? So now you're building out this page and you got one, two, three, four, five pages uh, supporting and telling Google that you know your shit when it comes to car detailing because you have all these other sub-service pages telling uh, the search engine this is what you do. Now I would move on to this page which would be under the category of car wash. When you could Google business profile, you're going to select your secondary category, which would be car wash. And then you would build out a page that links from here to the mobile car wash page, right? And then what you would do is then you start building out pages under this category, under this. So it's almost like sub services under that page. And this is why I've highlighted these right here. So exterior car wash, interior car, interior car cleaning, tire and wheel cleaning, engine washing, all under the category of the car wash uh, category in the eyes of Google. So here's the third secondary category I would select, upholstery carpet shampoo plus your location. So upholstery carpet and shampooing, that's another secondary category. And then I would start listing services under that page there. You see this? One, two, three. So then what happens is what you're doing is you're building something these internet nerds and SEO geeks talk about that's called topical authority um, in the eyes of Google. The way I simplify it, make it simple to understand is Google just wants to know, do you know your shit when it comes to your industry? And by building out a website just like this, you're basically punching Google in the face. Some of the yes, hell yes, I know my shit when it comes to car detailing. Look at all of these pages. Look at all this content. Look at the structure of my site proves to you, Google, that I know my shit when it comes to this industry. And then you want to take things a step further and you start building sub-service pages under the services of mobile detailing, just like this. Boom, 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 boom. And if you and just building a site like this, connecting to a Google business profile, you're going to see that Google business profile start to climb and climb and climb just because of the topical authority. Again, you got to be a good business though. I can't just build this on some fake Google business profile with no reviews and all that crap. Uh, like I said, like I said earlier, you just can't be some dipshit that goes out there and you just a scuzz bag that shows up, you know, in a tank top and some flip flops cleaning people's cars. You got to be professional. You got to be good, just like anything. So in a way, your your website's showcasing that you know anybody who's good at business is going to take the time, effort, and energy to build up a well structured website just like this. Now, when it comes to the homepage, let me show you guys to give you guys a visual of how this whole damn thing is going to go look. So here we go. I built a just a dummy website using my template that I use for all the business owners that I build out the websites for them. Like I tell people all the time, I built up this template for myself to simplify the entire process of building a website that's going to rank on Google. More importantly, that's going to connect to a Google business profile that's going to push the Google business profile to the top of the search results. So I built this. I literally built this this morning. It took me about 20 minutes. Um, this entire homepage, 100% of the content, everything. I literally built it in about 20 minutes. I have prompts that I've developed over the years that basically walks me through the entire process. I have something called a kickoff prompt here. I just copy and paste and tell ChatGPT everything about the business. Um, I have 
pages for uh, prompts to show me how to build up the, the, the header stuff, the SEO titles, the meta descriptions, everything like that. Right. So I just copy and paste all these prompts into ChatGPT and have it build my website content little by little. And it's 100 percent organic. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave a link to the specific page. You guys can read it for yourself and see if you do use ChatGPT correctly, how quickly you can build a website, like write the content that doesn't sound like gibberish. And um, it just customer will to read it and go, oh, this is a damn good website. So let me show you the website. Right. And I always tell people when it comes to building a website, it should kind of hold the customer's hands, walk them through the whole sales process and make them want to call you or book a call or whatever it might be, right? It goes through the whole sales process. So right here is mobile car detailing in Bakersfield, right? Pretty crystal clear. So somebody lands on here, they know exactly what this is. Get your car shining inside and out and your car detailed in Bakersfield. Licensed, insured, five-star rated. We bring full detail and ceramic coating, paint correction right to your driveway. Check that out. You know, and I add all this, all this help. All I did this was ChatGPT. Um, so I always tell people, they, they land on this page and they go, what am I looking for? Detailing. So this page basically tells the customer, this is who we are. This is what we do. And this is how you can get it. It's pretty much it. And then I have a section that I always tell people, or just remind people of their problem. Why were they online in the first place? Right? Well, obviously, the car looks like hell and they want to get it clean. Want your car detailed, but don't want to stop off. Uh, don't have time to drop it off somewhere. Perfect. There you go. Now, and you just ask them questions that they're thinking about, like tired of driving around in a car that never really feels clean. Do staying orders inside your car keep coming back no matter what you try? Yada, yada, yada. Right. And then I am uh, the answer to your prayers. My business is the answer to what you have going on right here. And here's why we listen to what you need. We fit your schedule, your time matters to us. And I wrote some content here talking about that. I put some images here in the background just to show that. Um, and then I start telling people, you can start to introduce them to the services that I offer. Mobile car detailing, blah, blah, blah. Here's what you can expect with Izzy's mobile car detail. Again, this is just a dummy site. Uh, full car detailing, paint correction, ceramic coating, wax and polish, upholstery paint and car wash. This is what makes us different. Here's what you can expect when you call us. Here's our reviews. Here's an email form if you want to con fill, uh, fill this thing out. And here's a final call to action. And it shows everything about my business down here, uh, where you contact us, my address, hours of operation, my business profile, my, uh, what do you call these, uh, social media crap, all that stuff done, right? So now when I didn't take this any further than that, that's all I did. But let's say, as I explained earlier on this, under the car wash secondary category, right? So I just showed you the homepage. Now you're going to have a link that points out to here. So let me show you guys what that looks like. So this would be the car wash page, right? That category. So we click on that and it would lead to a main category. And this is where you start building out those other subcategory pages. These ones here, boom, 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 boom. You start building all these pages here and then all these pages would link right back to this one, which this page links right back to this one. Let me show you that really quick if it makes sense, right? So let's say this is my car wash page and then we have all these services under car wash, the tire cleaning, the uh, full interior washing. Um, well, I forgot what else I had on there, right? So I built those out and let's say these link out to a sub service page of that, right? But you'll notice this goes links right back here. And then this will link, link right back to the homepage. So in a way, what you're doing, you're creating silos for each one of these services. You're treating each one of these main categories as its own individual service, but still under the main category of mobile car detailing. So if you structure this correctly, uh, that website's absolutely going to kick ass. It's going to rank extremely well, because if you go look at car detail websites out there, they usually just one page, two pages, three pages. And usually because and I don't blame them, they're out there detailing cars. They're not website designers, right? And they don't know how to structure a website, but this is how you should do it to get that business profile pushed to the top of the search results. Uh, are my concern about this website ranking the organic? No, I don't really give a shit. It, it probably will anyways. But what I'm more concerned about is getting the Google business profile into the three pack of Google. Uh, so there you have it. That's how I would structure one of those uh, a car detailing website. Like I said, it's all about topical authority for all the years I've been building that website. Like I always tell people, I kind of stumbled upon this stuff on accident. And after learning even more about this SEO stuff, taking even more training and learning about more stuff, I've come to realize, like I said, all you have to do is build, tell Google that you know your shit when it comes to your industry 
tell tell it more than your competitors and you're going to win. Now, if you're, like I said, in Bakersfield, I'm, I'm guessing it's a big ass town that there's going to be a lot of people actually trying to do that, uh, that business. So you might need even more pages, you know? So let's say you start off with that entire website that I just put that 18 page website right from the get go next month. What you do is you add up another five pages next month. You add another five pages next month. You need another five page and you start building out more and more subcategories depending on that location. I mean, the services that you provide all focused in Bakersfield, California. And that's how I would do it. And because, of course, there's more stuff to the SEO, getting backlinks to that homepage, pointing backlinks to some of those service pages that you made, um, getting citations done, getting good reviews, uh, uh, properly filling out the Google business profile, all that stuff. But that website is going to play a massive, massive role on where that Google business profile ranks in those organics and eventually into that three pack of Google if somebody's willing to play the game and make that happen. So if you guys want to link to that website, I just built just that homepage. It's just a temporary website. It's, it's built on my uh, template that I use to uh, uh, help people with their websites. And you could use, if you want to build out your own website, I have training that shows you how to build out your own website step-by-step, step. make sure it's SEO optimized, all that good stuff built on WordPress. All the links are in the description below. If you're a business owner that doesn't want to deal with any of this stuff, you just know that you need something like this built out for your business. You can reach me in the description below as well. And I can uh, show you what it would cost to get something like this built out for you and get you some just basically a kick ass website that's going to rank well and generate you leads for your business. And this is why one of the reasons I talk about this whole AI stuff, even though I did use AI to help me write all that content, but you have to use it correctly. You have to use it like wisely and smartly understand how to how to guide it to write you great content. And one of the reasons that I think this AI stuff is overplayed, like everything I just showed you right now, I don't think AI could really like help you with that. It's just something you have to physically go out there and really uh, deep dive and look and see what you got going on with that. So one of the reasons I think this whole AI stuff is completely over hyped. I made a video talking about that right here. You can check that out. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.